Hey everybody, it's Bob here and welcome back to another Making Stuff video. This will be just a very quick video and I'm going to show you my weekend project and it's very simple. It is this and what is this you're asking? Well, this is just an alarm that will trigger an LED and a little siren to go off whenever this pin here loses ground. If it goes high, uh, which I've got a pull-up resistor on this circuit board, uh, if it goes high then this alarm goes off. And what I'm doing with this is I'm putting this on my diesel pickup truck. Uh, it's about, it's a 2001 Dodge Ram and these trucks had a defect in them. I don't know if it was ever recalled or what, uh, but the injector pump on a diesel engine uh, on these is lubricated by the fuel and you actually have two fuel pumps one that gets the fuel to the engine and then another one that actually uh, sends it to the injectors so on my truck if the first pump fails the second pump does all the work and the engine will still run but um, it's not getting lubricated and it will damage that injector pump and that's a two thousand dollar fix so I've I have fixed this problem on my truck a long time ago, but um, I need something like this because I have a fuel pressure gauge on the dash that I've added, and here recently it was on zero, and of course you're looking at the road, unless you look down and see it on zero, uh, you have no idea that this has failed, and hopefully I haven't done $2,000 worth of damage to my truck. but. Uh, Anyway, I just, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while and I kept putting it off and I've decided it's finally time to do this. And also, I want to show you this. This circuit board that I use, it's a pre-made circuit board. Now, I love these little circuit boards here, these uh, PCBs. Of course, where did I get them? Radio Shack. Well, the Radio Shack that I live near went out of business about a year and a half ago. Uh, the company filed bankruptcy. So this was the last package of these I had. I went and bought all of them I could find. I, I used the heck out of these things. I love them. And I was saving these for a special project because it's my last pack. Then the other day, lo and behold, I get a catalog in the mail and this company has reproduced these boards. And there's the web address. Hopefully you can see that. That's where I got these. So if you're like me, and you like these uh, printed circuit boards, there's where you get them. Right there. So let me explain how this works real quick. Um, I have got here, this is an AT Tiny. This is a pull-up resistor, a 7805 voltage regulator, filter cap, LED, siren. That's all there is to this. And I'm going to put this together. This was a little 3D printed case. I'll put all the files, source code for the AT Tiny uh, on the web page. So look for the link in the description. I've got a little lid here that goes on here. So I'm going to put this together and go install it in the truck and then we'll test it out. Okay guys, here it is. It's installed right here. I've got it foam taped to the center console right behind the gear shift. This isn't something that you got to keep an eye on all the time. I have my fuel pressure gauge here, which should be my visual indication that something has gone wrong. This is just so when I'm going down the road and I'm not looking here, that I have a kind of a heads up warning that something has gone bad. So I'm going to start this. I had to give it a 30 second head start. That's why you've got the LED. This is to uh, accommodate the warm up time in the winter for the glow plugs but I have just turned over the starter, which you can see here, I've got about 20 PSI of fuel pressure, and the LED's gone out, so now this alarm is armed. So as soon as this goes below five PSI, which is what the pressure sensor switch is, that's installed on the fuel line. This is something I installed uh, a while back. I'm not gonna crawl under the truck again. Here we go, there we go. That's gone off. We have no fuel pressure. So this will go for 30 seconds or until you kill the ignition. 
And as I was saying, the fuel pressure sensor is located on the fuel line. This is something I installed probably a couple of years ago. And just, I've really never gotten around to finishing this project until today. And uh, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep on making stuff.